Okay, another Defender TDCI or Puma 2007-2016. This one's actually a 2.2. Uh, so what I wanted to talk about was the P2263 uh, code uh, and what the common items are. So the most common item... Now, I've just taken the intake uh, tube off there because we'll get to that in a minute but what i wanted so uh it's a turbo uh boost to uh, it, it's a generic code so turbo boost slash supercharger um under boost or performance fault it's fairly generic on a uh, defender so if we look, uh, so what you're looking for is uh, a leak uh, on the boost pressure side or the outlet side of the turbo. So in uh, the center of the screen where I'm shining the torch, um, you've got that turbo hose, okay? Th that one there. Uh, it can split on the elbow but more often than not, some of the early ones uh, will rub on the steering column and uh, it'll wear a hole through it. But uh, they can just split. So feel your hand down if you feel all that. Sometimes you can feel the split. Uh, look underneath from the car and you can uh, see that uh, oily black residue. Okay. Um, so that's one of them. We go around to the other side. Now, this one has already got a silicon hose on it, but that blue hose, that's the other one that can split. And again, it'll split on the other side of this uh, hose. So again, you're putting your, uh, this one can be a little bit oily leaky anyway. Um, it's not as common. The one on the driver's side is the most commonest uh, one. And the other obvious one is the, probably can't see it, but on the bottom of the intake assembly is, uh, you can just see the clamp, that little round bit of, uh, uh, on the casting. Uh, I've done another video, uh, earlier video, of changing out this elbow, okay? Typically, that's at 100,000 Ks, so it, it's on the passenger side. Um, you can use the silicon one. In the past, I've just never found any good silicon ones. They've been really big and bulky, and the clamps were rubbish, um, but I'm sure there's good ones out there. Okay, so they're the three main hoses. And uh, I'll show you, actually we'll go over to the hoses. So that's the part number for the 2.2 kit, TF742 Late. That's the two hoses um, in the kit. I use Terra Firma. Use whatever brand you like to use. I, I don't, uh, I'm not a part seller. I keep parts in stock uh, to repair them. Um, so whatever brand you want to use. I like the Terra Firma ones because I don't have to trim anything off that elbow. Okay? Um, I know some kids, I don't know the brand, that uh, if it's a right-hand drive vehicle, you've got to trim a bit off here. Why can't you just make the kit right? You know? Um, whatever. That's the elbow. That's the part number for the elbow. Uh, the elbow, the genuine one, it's got clamps on it that are attached. They bite really good. So I have had ones in the past that someone's replaced it with something else. The clamps were leaking, so it was still getting that same fault. Okay? Um, so whatever brand you're happy using, uh, now, the other one, can't really see it. You can see it a little. You can just see the edge of the 
intercooler. If I can get my hand in there. So where my finger's pointing, the other side of that seam where the plastic cap uh, joins the aluminium core, uh, they can split. It's quite common on the driver's side, it will split. Uh, you tend to have to look through that hole with your torch and sort of angle it, and you'll see all that black, and you'll often see the folds have been bent out. It can do the same thing on the passenger side, uh, but it's not as common. And if we go to a intercool, here's one I prepared earlier. So that's the fold that I was talking about. This is what blows out, and this is that driver's side one. So this is the same part number as the previous model uh, Defender, the TD5. 2.4s don't do it as much, but 2.2s definitely will split that seam on the inner cooler. So I replaced them with all aluminium ones that are all TIG welded, uh, really nicely made. Um, now, this one, interesting, inner cooler's good. The two hoses are good. Also, what you can get is the turbo just bang, obliterates, and it'll fault code, but it's pretty obvious when it goes bang. Um, so on this one, I couldn't find it. So I, I normally have a bit of a giggle when someone says, oh, the mechanic put the smoke leak detector on it. Generally, it's also obvious. But I've just cranked up. So that's what that is. That's our smoke leak detector. That's the little diaphragm thing that you pump up. And I'm just waiting for the smoke leak detector to start burning some oil. It's a nerd oil. Um, it'll take, it's a little bit colder this morning, so might take a little bit for the smoke to... Uh, so, not that I promote them, but it's just a Vivor smoke leak detector. Um, the cheap and for the amount of times I have to use it it's not often so I'm waiting for this thing to crank up hopefully before the rain starts okay so it is of course it's starting to rain now uh, I hope you guys can still hear me so we're just starting to see a bit of smoke now. So all, all it has is a uh, inert, I hope it's inert, uh, liquid that you put in it. Um, and it's got a heating element. And with these little dinky toy ones, if you over put too much fluid in, uh, it's more than what the heating element can handle. Um, so you just, it's got a little sight glass, you just put it so you can see the top of the fluid in the sight glass. Okay, so now I'll plug it in. Hopefully I can do this one-handed. Or not, I don't have to put you down. We'll go blurry for a little while, but you can still hear me. And now we're getting plenty of smoke. All right, so get our torch that I had prepared earlier. What do we stuff to prepare? And now I've already checked to make sure it's not coming out on the edge of the hose. It is actually, the smoke is actually coming from the turbo core itself. So generally that means it's got a crack in it. And this one will be a crack around by the bolt mount. So that's about the only time you really need a smoke leak detector. So I had one, another fault. So it's pretty rare again. Um, generally it's a turbo hose uh, in the cooler. Um, 
but you can see this one's smoking now. Often, uh, are these turbos uh, in my previous video about turbos, they are prone to failure. Uh, it's just the way it is, the rubbish. It's why I rebuild them. So we're really starting to pour out now. And like I said, I have gone over it pretty thoroughly. Um, so I'm going to change out the turbo today for one of my rebuilt ones. The other fault, while we're talking about... I'll just disconnect my smoke leak detector. The other fault... Um, so that pretty well covers all the P powertrain. Um, 2263 fault. Okay. Um, so that will generally come up as turbo supercharge boost system performance. Um, depending on your diagnostic tool. The other code is a P2564. Again, turbocharger boost control position sensor a circuit low general signal failure signal stays low yeah i was reading that off a sheet off one of my cheat sheets it, because so that one that later fault code that i mentioned it'll be in the uh, description anyway that is turbo modulator failure which is that bad boy there or uh, continuity issue, uh, signal stays low. Continuity issue in the plug, okay? Where my little pointers. Now, there is, so you can see those wires just by where my thumb is. They're prone to breaking. So I keep in stock a harness kit um, and that gets all wired in there, okay? So that's probably one of next to the split turbo hose and split intercooler hose that's pretty well one that modulator plug is one that i get done uh quite a lot okay um that i think is pretty well it so turbo hoses two to check plus the elbow plus the split intercooler uh split turbo or blown turbo, turbo modulator, which you can't buy on its own, so I get ones from the UK, uh, and the harness plug. So this one, I'll change out the turbo today. So my new turbos, my remanufactured ones, come with a brand new turbo modulator, uh, and if I think that plug is a bit suspect, uh, I'll do that at the same time. Okay. So, uh, I think that's about it. Probably gone on for long enough. Any uh, questions, put them in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.